Welcome! Together we're going to dedicate the next nine minutes to improving your safety and that of your co-workers by following the case study of a fatal accident at work. More than 100,000 accidents at work are reported annually in Finland. Of these, approximately 1,000 are caused by hazardous substances. In half those accidents, chemicals come into contact with the skin or eyes, and in a third, the substance is inhaled. Many of these types of accidents happen in factories, injuring process, or foundry workers. And of those injured, around 45% are under 35. Over the last 10 years, there has been a fatal accident caused by chemicals every other year. Fortunately, bodily injuries are infrequent, but material losses are more common. The vast majority of these accidents could be prevented by using the right equipment, training and safety management. Today, we're looking at the dangers of chemical gas and electrostatic electricity. It's 5.30 in the morning, and look, someone is already on their way to work. Before work can start though, there are many risk factors to take into account, like the weather, used chemicals, equipment and workplace conditions. At 6 a.m. it's time to get going. The first task for an experienced surface finisher is painting the parts of a propeller body with a high-pressure paint spray gun. The parts were brought to the paint shop the day before. For safety reasons, paint and thinners are kept in a storage room. From there, the paint flows through a pipe to the high-pressure pump in the paint shop. Outside, it's partly cloudy with a temperature of 2 minus degrees Celsius. All done! Time for a coffee break, but first, soak the paint spray in washing solvent and change into more comfortable clothing. What do you think are the risk factors in this situation? Okay, what just happened? Let's rewind and go through the incident from a scientific perspective. The barrel, thought to be empty, still contained some epoxy thinner. Epoxy thinner OH17 is classified as an easily flammable liquid. These kinds of flammable liquids vaporize strongly when left in an open container at room temperature. The barrel cap was open so presumably the solvent mixture was mainly vaporized. When the vapor blends with air, it can create an explosive gas mixture. If the risk of a spark is added to the mix, the probability of a fire or explosion is highly likely. Where did the spark come from? When a person walks, they produce static electricity with every step they take. The electrostatic charge builds up where the person's clothing comes into contact with their body and from the friction between the soles of their shoes and the ground. Electrostatic charge can also build up by induction. Induction is when electrostatic charge moves from a charged object through its electrical field to a person. For example, when someone comes to close proximity to a paint spray gun that was electrostatically charged from high-pressure paint flow through the pipe. Practically, electrostatic charge always builds up when a person or an object moves. Two factors affect how much electrical charge builds up. Atmospheric humidity and the resistance between the person and the ground. So, electrostatic charge is more likely on a cold winter's day because the relative humidity indoors is lower when the central heating is on. A positive charge on a human body is often discharged when touching or getting close to a negatively charged object. To truly understand why the spark occurred, 
we also need to understand what grounding means. Grounding is when an electrical charge moves from an object to the ground. Even a small thing left neglected or a simple mistake can have serious consequences. By following these simple instructions, you can avoid most of these kinds of accidents. First, prevent the formation of an explosive gas mixture. Have targeted ventilation, closed processes, and ventilation in workspaces. Keep all containers holding chemical closed so that vapor cannot escape. The paint waste barrel that exploded was inside the paint shop, contrary to instructions. The correct place to keep it would have been in the paint storage room. Always store chemical substances in a space designed for chemical storage. Another significant factor preceding the explosion was static electricity. The electrostatic charge, which built up while the person was moving, was immediately discharged when the person came into close proximity to the negatively charged barrel. This caused a spark. The spark ignited the gas mixture and the barrel exploded. The buildup of charge can be prevented by using the right anti-static equipment. In these kind of working conditions, anti-static shoes must be worn. Anti-static shoes, in addition to anti-static workwear, could have prevented the explosion and saved a life. A tidy workspace and grounding cables are important additional safety measures. The working spaces need to be kept clean and checked regularly. Paint stains act as insulation and so prevent electrical conductivity of the surfaces. The most important thing to remember is to take care that all metal parts and containers in ATX spaces are properly grounded. Better positioning of the emergency shower could also save the life of a panicked worker. A safe work environment and working methods needs to be ensured by regular inspections. Next, stick to workplace rules and instructions. When the surface finisher went for his coffee break, having finished the paint job, he changed into his comfortable clothes. His error was that he did not change back into his anti-static workwear afterwards. The neglect of workplace methods combined with human error were the reasons he re-entered the paint shop in the wrong workwear. According to the instructions, a paint spray gun should be washed immediately after finishing a paint job while wearing an anti-static overall. Four particularly dangerous tasks, regular training and plenty of practice are both essential. It cannot be overstated. It is vital to train employees well so they are competent and aware of risks. Many factors contribute to a safe workplace, but the most important of them is attitude. Let's look after our safety and each other's so we can all get back home safely at the end of the day.